Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So today, we've got something special planned. In addition to getting our watering can upgraded again, thanks to the fact that it's raining, we are going to go ahead and be proposing to Sherry this episode. And uh, hopefully she'll say yes. I have no idea how many of these animals I petted. But that's going to be waiting a couple of days, because in Grand Bazaar, your wedding takes place one week after the proposal, unless there's a festival. I think also if there's a birthday, it'll be delayed. And I was thinking that we could propose to Sherry on the 24th, and then the wedding would be the last day of summer. Oh, we should actually... <laughs> First thing we should do is head on over to the manufacturing windmill and get our watering can started before we do anything else. So after this upgrade, our watering can will be able to water four by one. That's not really all that special because... Oh, hey, nice. Because when the uh, growing section is nine by six then that really doesn't help us at all. But it's an important stepping stone. Actually, let's check the corn on the end, see uh, where that is right now. Three and a half stars, not bad. We might actually be able to get our corn to five stars um, next year, which would be nice. If you got this far in the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me who you choose for the blue feather for Grand Bazaar. It really does help me out when you do all that stuff, so do not forget. I didn't want to get any training points anyway. Gosh. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my gosh, okay. There. We managed to actually... <laughs> oh, that was awful. Well... I am sorry. I'm. I guess I'm just rusty. You know, when you don't play every day, every day, it's a very high skill game that we're playing here. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do something about that. And then when we go back, instead of eight hours. Now our watering can will be done in six. It, how much blowing into the mic helps depends on how windy the day is. Uh, last episode, while I was streaming, while I was recording it, I mentioned that, oh yeah, blowing into the microphone doesn't work on hurricane days. It actually does. You can have the blue wonderful effect, uh, the blowing into the microphone effect, and the hurricane active all in one. And that... I think that reduces it to, like, a sixth of the time or something like that. It's it's nutty. I don't know why I left her. Why I left red hair here. I keep wanting to call our horse our cute underling. But it's not Yoshika Miyako. You getting good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. Important for being able to smash open boulders with your bare hands, apparently. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Are those both things that I already have? Yes, they are. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get some onion salad and come back. Sherry, baby, Sherry. Won't you come out tonight? Good afternoon, Ray. Having a good day. Oops. Here, have this herb salad that I just threw on the ground. Oh, wow, an herb salad. Thank you, I love it. Ray, I'm glad that you moved here. Every time that I see you, it puts a smile on my face. And that's her red heart dialogue. Just so you know. Alright, so we're gonna go into town and show off the blue feather to everybody and... See what they have to say about it. 
And considering that it's a rainy night, this is kind of the perfect time to do it. Oh, poisonous mushroom. Sure, why not? Those are big sellers at the bazaar. Kind of weird. Oh, well. <laughs> Going to propose to someone? Good luck. And in case you're wondering what happens if you drop the blue feather in the river... Yeah, you can't. It won't let you. Huh? A feather? Where's the rest of the bird? Just kidding. <laughs> Apparently Dirk does not know what the blue feather implies. Yeah. What do you think of it? Is it pretty? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm What? Oh, it's you. What are you doing out so late? It's kind of weird. Huh? That's a nice feather, I guess. Oh, a blue feather. That brings back memories. I was so happy when my wife accepted mine. That feather. That's the feather. Someday, I'll give that feather to Marion. But first, I'll have to win her heart. I won't give up. You know what? Since I'm not allowed to marry her, good luck. We actually have a son, you know. He got a job in the city far away. It gets lonely sometimes without him. I saw the heart event. Or not the heart event, the random event. Our son had to move far away for work. He loves his job, but I wish he lived closer. We miss him so much. Call your parents. They love you. They want to hear from you. Oh, you haven't proposed yet? That may be an old feather, but it brought me plenty of good luck. See, I'm pretty sure that the the dude that Ethel and uh, um, and Joan were fighting over was Stuart, and Ethel was the first to give him a blue feather. Then propose to anyone yet? Make sure not to rush yourself. Also, you'll need a nice big bed before you can get married. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got that taken care of. So this is a blue feather. It has a pretty color. It's like a work of art. That's a pretty feather. Ugh, don't remind me. Remember, her fiancé left her. I think at the altar. A blue feather. Don't let Marion see it, okay? It'll stir up bad memories for her. Uh, a little too late. Sorry. Thinking about proposing to someone? Thinking about it. Not you, just for the record. Good evening. Good evening, Ray. You should get home before it gets too dark. <laughs> Women seem to want to marry someone out of a fairy tale. I don't understand it, personally. So th we're going to have to save the rest for, t uh, for the next day. But uh, we've only got a few more houses to hit. So yeah, the main advantage of a two-star watering can is its capacity. I'm pretty sure you can water an entire field without having to refill it. Which is very nice. Two more, and it should be... There we go. The entire field watered without having to refill the watering can at all. Let's go and see if we got any golden eggs. <gasps> yes! Golden egg. Okay. I can, I can now show off how much it's worth when we sell it to roll. Okay? And then we're going to show off how much... The mayonnaise is from the golden egg when we sell it to roll. Because this is one of the times when an animal product, just like the basic animal product, is worth more than... Or the, the processed basic animal product is worth more. You know what I mean. Because regular mayonnaise is not worth more than a regular egg plus the cost of the oil. You lose money on that deal. But with a golden egg, 
you gain money. So we're gonna take our horse. We're, we're not gonna turn it into mayonnaise just yet. We're gonna show it to our wolf and see what he will pay for it. I stream the recordings of all these episodes over on my streaming channel. And so if you're watching this on the day it goes live, that means that I'm streaming the recording of the next episode in the series over on my streaming channel and a link to that will be down in the description below. And I would really appreciate it if you would come by and say hi. Wow, what a beautiful feather. Oh, a blue feather. It has an interesting energy. Hey, Lori, how are you? A blue feather? Haven't seen one of those in a while. Hey, it's a blue feather. So who are you giving it to? I gave one to Claire. Ah, the memories. So he'll pay 1400 G for a five star golden egg, which by the way, he pays half the base price. So 2,800 is the base price and you can sell items for 80% of their base price, which should be 2,240 G or thereabouts. It'd probably be more like 2,200 or 2,250. I forget exactly, but yeah. Hey Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? But we are not going to be selling that golden egg. Oh, Ray. Hello. We are going to be turning it into uh, great mayonnaise. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. So that you can see the price difference. And, yeah. Oh, we have both of those. Okay, let's actually get something to eat at home. Get an onion salad or that seafood stew. And bring it back. And not forget this time. But we also want to show... Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, wait. We need to show this to Felix, too. So you, we can get his dialogue. Hi, Ray. How are you doing? Oh, a blue feather. That is the most dangerous weapon on the battlefield of love. You give it to your one true love to propose. But... <laughs> Sorry, I broke, I broke character. That's such a great dialogue. Oh my gosh. Felix is fantastic. How could you not love him? Hello, Ri. It must be nice to be young and full of energy. Hello there, Ray. Are you eating well? Well, I need to get an onion salad, but other than that, yeah. Goodness, a blue feather? When my husband gave me one, he could barely get the words out. Oh my, a blue feather. That takes me back. My husband proposed to me with one just like that. Aww. It's a very wholesome series. I like that. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and sit outside. And have our onion salad with a nice, some nice tea. Mm. Oh, that's so good. All right, so we're going to grab that great mayonnaise, and then we're going to go over to Rolls and see how much you'll pay for that. And based on that, I can calculate how much we will get for it at the bazaar and how much profit we will get for it. And you'll see that it is that it more than pays for the oil. 1,705. Even if for some horrifyingly awful reason you were planning on selling either your golden eggs or your great mayonnaise to Raul, you would still more than pay for the oil by 300. You, 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 would, you would gain 200 plus the cost of the oil. How about that? 200 extra profit. But since we'll be selling it at the bazaar, the base price is 3,410, which means 27... 30? So it should be 2700, 2750, or 2800 at the bazaar. Somewhere around there. But I think 2730 is. Uh, well, it's 2728, but yeah. A blue feather? I actually feel the same way. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to say. Listen, ladies, if your man proposes to you, don't have that as your initial response, okay? Say yes, 
or no. You want to know why men have higher rates of heart disease? Is because because of that. Because of stuff like that. Oh, I don't know what to say. Just tell me the answer. Oh my gosh, it's a heart attack. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm really happy. I've been drawn to you since the first day I met you, right? Oh. I'm just so flustered. I'm sorry. Yes, I'd love to marry you. Let's go tell father the good news. Um... Is there any way we could avoid doing that? Oh, don't worry. I'll handle it. That was What? Oh, father, calm down. How can I be calm at a time like this? Father, I'm serious. I hate it when you're like this. Um, uh, um, give up, Mayor. If you fight it, she may elope and leave town, you know? Elope? Um, yes, we just might do that. See? There's no use fighting it. Ray is a great guy, anyway. And his farm is nearby, so you can visit often. And see, this is why you need Lloyd's help. Oh, all right. I'll allow it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lloyd. When is the ceremony? We were thinking a week from now. Okay! Well, we're going to do this right then! You'd better treat Sherry right, Ray. Otherwise, you'll have to deal with Felix. Don't worry. And then, uh, before we get back to the cafe, I do want to stop at the grinding windmill and get this, these peach, see, this peach tree started. Oh no. Yeah, that was a mistake. And then just have some seafood stew with our tea. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. I gotta give Claire credit for that. They're gonna be in they're gonna be getting in the way of my radish seed production either way, but Okay, 190, that's not actually as bad as I thought. That would be um uh, Eight days, yeah, I think. Yeah, about eight days. But yes, definitely should have done that at the end of the season. Alright, so we're gonna run over to the mayor's right now and see what Sherry and the mayor have to say in their rooms, if there's any extra dialogue. And then we are going to very quickly get some radishes harvested and turned into seeds. What am I doing? Whole point is to visit them here. Good morning, Ray. Let's make today a good one. It's almost our wedding day. You and me, husband and wife. I'm so happy. Hi. Good morning, Ray. What a beautiful day. Because I say any day you feel healthy and strong is a beautiful day. I don't think I have any great talents. But everyone here trusts and follows me. That makes me feel very lucky. So no, it's, it, Sherry does have special dialogue in her room, but Felix does not. Okay. By the way, one thing I, I kind of screwed up when I was showing off the uh, the one and a half star watering can is I was showing when I was jumping, I was showing it on the edge, but actually if you jump, it's in a circle around. So it was actually nine spaces. So it's the three in the front, the three in the back, and the three the same space. Anyway. Uh, well, whatever. We'll just get the radishes going ASAP, because we do need to get those going ASAP, even if we're going to be okay with them being planted tomorrow. 
Alright, so currently, it should be about 30 hours, yeah. Which, I mean, should be fine, but we can speed that up, up a little bit. Twenty hours. So that'll be when by the time we get up tomorrow. This is a great spot for skateboarding. It's also a great spot for creeping on Antoinette, isn't it? By the way, don't know if you noticed it before. Uh, the heart, the heart level is now gone from all the bachelorettes except for Sherry, for obvious reasons. Hey, you look bird. Hello. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? Well, I'm here to give your friend a present. Huh? Hey, nothing's gonna fly out of here, right? A birthday present? Yes! You're a great sidekick! Not your sidekick. Stop it. Well, sounds like we've got another hurricane on our hands. That's two this summer. But that's gonna have to wait for our next episode. For this episode, I'll just have to say thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you later. Bye.